Hey guys, welcome to my tips and tricks for uh, Jane Wild. This is an Android iPhone game. So uh, let's start off with the actual basics when you do play this game. When you do hit play, you do have a choice of course between hard and easy play, that being easy. And uh, now let's go to the actual store itself. Now in the store you of course have a selection of ammo, that being uh, Standard pistol ammo, shotgun and a machine gun followed by arrows and of course the fish gun. Now uh, in terms of buying your ammo make sure that you don't overbuy it because there is of course a limit. So for example I have 260. I know the max amount of ammo I can have I think is around 350. So if I buy it now I will lose 10 ammo. But the thing is I have so much money I don't really care so I'll buy it. As you see it's maxed out. Same thing for the shotgun shells. So you're buying shells in increments I think of... Uh, I'm not sure, I think it was 6 or 8 or something like that. So key, ma make sure you don't uh, overbuy. So for example, if you're right before the max number, try not to buy the actual ammo itself because you'll pretty much pay uh, the amount just for a one shell or just a couple of shells. So try to make it as efficient as possible, especially in the bidding, to save up your ammo. Now another thing that I'd like to get to is the actual weapons themselves. Now the default weapons that you should try to max out of course is the pistol. So you can always always try to upgrade the pistol followed by the shotgun. The other weapons are secondary so really try to keep your pistol. So in terms of upgrading weapons go always for the pistol, the shotgun, then the gatling gun and then the rest are pretty much not really as necessary. Now a cool thing as well is to maybe you can throw in the mix of course you're going to be switching between the pistol, your standard weapon, the shotgun when you have a lot of them grouped up which you'll see in my uh, gameplay as well and there I'll be covering a bunch of other stuff and then the gatling gun now the gatling gun is just a random thing when you run out of ammo on your board you can do that as well but the bow itself is not bad in case you have a boss you can always shoot the bow and slow them down because the slow motion does uh, paralyze them a little bit longer so even though you paralyze them initially they freeze they still tend to move but they move slower so this is cool in case you have a lot of them and you want to slow them down and of course the uh, grenade launcher or the fish gun whatever you like to call it so that's useful as well as you do see i did max out my pistols now with this setting of this if you follow this upgrading it means upgrading your pistol and your shotgun uh, you can pretty much get your actual suit that i got here with the uh, hold on the uh the Iron Maiden suit as you do see I did get it in terms of without actually purchasing anything I just had to play the easy level and I played I think three levels of the hard and that's pretty much it I did get the suit in terms of these upgrades of course the first thing that I upgraded to the max was uh, the actual uh, pistol so that's pretty cool to keep in mind now let's go to the power-ups the power-ups are a pretty pretty interesting combination within the actual game itself you can have a maximum of three power-ups or let's just go into any any game whatsoever just so I can show you how it works and uh, you see on the bottom you have uh, one and then you have two so maximum I can have three of these I can have one two and three and then out of each one of them I can have three power-ups so in case you bump into a power-up for example the skeleton and you already have three use the skeleton and pick up the one on the map to try to be as effective as possible since anyways you can't be able to pick it up if you already got three of that kind so pick it up use it and then pick up the one that's on the ground that's a one cool thing to keep in mind in terms of using your power-ups that's if you do stumble upon the fourth one now again keep in mind that you do save your power-ups yeah so when you do finish the level the power-ups are stored so the next time you play the game if you didn't use the power-ups they'll stay with you so that's pretty cool if in case you want to you know save up your cool power-ups to go against the boss and now one of the most important things in terms of your power-ups is the fact that once you buy them in the actual menu itself they unlock so try to unlock only the best power-ups now in my opinion you need to unlock the triple damage the iron armor and the stampede now these are one of the either the stampede or the actual summon skeleton deputy now why once you if you unlock the rest you'll always get all of them there's a random drop of all but if you only unlock the ones that you want you'll always get a drop of only these three that you unlock don't unlock more than the three that you want to use because like that you'll be as most efficient as possible so in that sense I'll always get the triple damage, always get the iron, and I'll always either get the stampede or the skeleton deputy. Now, why are these the best? Because the triple damage pretty much guarantees you a kill for anything that comes in your way. Especially useful when you're trying to kill the main boss in the hard level, in the easy level, I mean, the last, last boss in the easy level. You won't have enough if you're, if you're playing it without buying anything, so you can always get the triple damage to kill the last boss. And, of course, the iron armor is pretty much invincibility for a couple of seconds, so that's very useful. 
in uh, having it and of course the stampede which mops up everything on the map or the summon skeleton which is really useful because he pretty much holds the people off back and he kicks them back as well so this is pretty cool the, the other ones aren't really that useful the problem is with the sitting bulls is they're very random and they don't hit everything on the map it's better to get that nuke which is the divine intervention it's like a nuke being dropped off the sky so that's way more efficient than the actual sitting bulls even though the sitting bulls might make more damage i'm not sure but still i would recommend to use the triple damage the iron armor and the uh the stampede in terms of your power-ups and don't don't try to unlock all the other ones if you're doing four achievements do it when you completely finish the game because like that you're guaranteed to always get one of these three drops and again if you do bump into a fourth one use it and then pick up the fourth one as well so that's pretty much as effective as you can get it going uh i know there was a bunch of other stuff so uh, yeah now for the actual uh for the farming now when you're in the easy map the uh, best map to farm is uh, the snow level. Let's go to the snow level and you have the level 8 one. So if you're playing the easy, you should be able to get around uh, around at least 10k per trip. So if you go to the snow level 8, level 8 should give you around 10k per trip. And once you're in the hard, hard you go to the crocodile and uh, level 6, that should give you around 15k per run. Now again, don't expect that this is going to be a, a a quick solution this still does this is still going to take quite a bit of time but it will get you the money if you grind it for for a certain amount of time you will get the amount of money that you need to unlock the stuff and then you should hopefully have enough money to of course get your kit the iron maiden kit which actually is pretty cool i i won the competition that they put on their facebook page so that's pretty nice so anyways let's go down to the actual gameplay itself and i'll show you a couple of tips and tricks in terms of the gameplay and i'll be mentioning other stuff while you watch me play one of the levels Hey guys, so welcome to my uh, let's play. So let's 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 get this thing started and uh, let's get down to the main points. Of course, uh, when you start, always keep your eyes on the phrases that pop up. The muddy water standoff, that's uh, just the beginning, but you know, later on as you play you do get various phrases and each of course phrase might give you a heads up in terms of what you're going to encounter ahead. So that's also a cool thing to keep in mind. So uh, do that. Now this is... Uh, if you noticed, I just what I did there is I switched with the shotgun immediately to uh, to take care of all the closer enemies. As you will notice when I play, the shotgun is very key to get to the enemies, uh, to get a lot of enemies when they're uh, when they're clumped up. So uh, I will try to do that as much as possible. Let's just keep watching my actual gameplay itself. I am going to be switching, I think, sometime to the shotgun once I'm done with these and you will see that actually it's the best thing to take care of all enemies clumped up see there you go and, and again it's it's a great ammo saver and technically in the beginning you're really gonna learn that you need to save ammo so always use the shotgun when you have them all clumped up together just shoot it away and you will be surprised you can get pretty close to get even more of them because the shotgun does take like three four meters radius in front of you and uh, in, like directly in front of you and behind them as well so that's why I usually get a little bit closer before I fire it off so I get as many as possible now another thing in the arctic is even in some of the swamp levels later on you might get a bigfoot now the bigfoot starts moving you will of course see the shadow below you now the key thing is in terms of that is to try to stop let it like sort of hover above you and once the bigfoot stops moving it pretty much locks on and once it locks on move forward why you want to do that because if if you're if you're moving forward and you let the the foot like stomp in front of you you're gonna have to shoot the foot for it to go up but if you stop, you, you let the Bigfoot sort of lock onto you and then you move forward, then the Bigfoot drops behind you and you can continue to progress. So like that you save more ammo so you don't have to pretty much kill the actual foot itself and just keep going forward. So that's just another strategy that I use. And uh, this is pretty much it in terms of uh, Jane Wild. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, of course don't forget to leave your comments down below. And uh, visit my website down below. I did review the actual game as well. And uh, take care. Happy gaming. Bye.